Next, let's queer up entertainment. Here are LGBTQ plus comedians we should be paying attention to. 2024 has become a difficult time and place for much of the LGBTQ plus community. The prescription to face it is laughter. From tackling taboo topics to spreading laughter worldwide, LGBTQ plus comedians have carved out a vibrant space in comedy, blending humor and advocacy and personal narratives. Queer News Tonight wants to highlight some of the prescriptions to make, make your life funnier. First on our list is Tig Notoro. She has been a standout since her breakthrough Grammy nom nominated album Live in 2012, where she fearlessly intertwined personal challenges like cancer with sharp wit. Billy Eichner has a huge audience base who love to watch him divide opinions with his intense style, whether berating strangers on Billy on the Street or charming audiences in mainstream hits like Bros. Third on our list is Patty Harrison. She delights with surreal humor across social media and stand up, leaving audiences in stitches with her unique comedic voice. Fortune Feimster is no less Known for her laid-back charm, she has been entertaining viewers since her days on Last Comic Standing. Wanda Sykes, a trailblazer since 1987, uses her platform to advocate for LGBT, uh, LGBTQ plus rights, becoming the first black woman and openly gay entertainer to headline the White House Correspondents Association Dinner. How can we forget Hannah Gatsby? Gatsby, who propelled to global fame with Nanette, is known for challenging and delighting audiences with her poignant storytelling and return to comedy after initially vowing to quit. Through their wit and courage, these comedians not only entertain, but also provoke thought and advocate for LGBTQ plus visibility and rights in comedy and beyond. These voices and hundreds of LGBTQ plus comedians like them prove it gets better. Mm -hmm. I love a good laugh and a good chuckle. These are all some great comedians. Mm -hmm. One or two of them I have to get a little more familiar with, but people need to laugh nowadays. Right? It's so much negativity, it's so much hurt and just unnecessary talk of negative subjects. Let's laugh. Well, and that's how we Absolutely. heal, right? Yeah. That's how we mm -hmm. heal, Corey, is by talking, right? And mm -hmm. if you could use, like, if you could use your stories and the shit that happens to you, right, and make a career out of it. Yeah. And then also us as spectators see ourselves on the screen. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing so much good for our community. And I have to say thank you to Queer News Tonight for spotlighting many women today yes. on yes. this show yeah. it's usually yeah. always male dominated right especially in many fields in most fields mm -hmm. right so the fact that we're tackling these incredible women are fantastic wanda sykes you know so many mm -hmm. comedians say that she's their mentor yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean wanda sykes has been around forever has had to deal with white people forever had <laughs> is the only was the was the only black person on curb your enthusiasm yeah. for years right. yeah. and could hold them all could hold her own like eff it you know mm -hmm. um you know uh tig nataro and the other uh, the other they the, 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 they them Patty. hannah I love them because they're also they're on the spectrum. They also right. show how we can do more with other with 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 other disabilities that you might not know a lot about uh, a lot about. Yeah. Period. In a funny you know? way. In a funny in way. A funny. In a you funny know, way. way that doesn't make you uncomfortable. It doesn't. You know, Tig Notaro was on Star Trek, I think. I'm not a Trekkie or anything, you know. It but like, like a Star Trek. But, <laughs> but, 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 but how cool is it to see ourselves re represented Absolutely. in freaking Star Trek? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's that, that's what it that's what I I love that. I love the fortune, you know, but I, let's add a couple of people that weren't. Um, I love Mateo Lane. We were talking about him. Yes, yeah, sure. he has a show coming in September and I love, love him. His TikToks yeah. are just yeah. freaking He's, everything. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm, love him. I'm filling my like queer com comedy share on TikTok now. Yeah, because I don't know where to find them. <laughs> well, and that's where you find them. You yeah. know, we right. could also talk about Margaret Cho. Margaret Cho is fantastic. Yes, major. Funny. You know, um, she's and, a queen. And she is a yeah. queen. So if so if, if it's the first time that you're hearing about these other comedians there back home, look them up. Go support mm -hmm. them. Go to one of their shows. All yes. right. They might not be filling up big arenas, but trust me, they're talking about what you're going through. And, and there's funny. nothing better than that. And yeah. they're funny. They are very and they're funny. funny as shit. They're funny AF. <laughs> yeah, there's another uh, uh, lesbian comedian named Judy Gold. Oh, Hello. old yes. school. Yeah. I totally love her. She's hilarious. She's dealing with all of this political stuff really well. And also things that are happening in the Middle East. She mm. kind of breaks it down. And I think that when we learn things uh, and there's humor added to it, it's 
like I said, it makes us less uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it's probably easier to process, right? It's, it's right? the it's conversation palatable. And they're important things to share. So, yeah. Yeah, look up Judy Gold. I love that. I'm going to look her we'll up also it. because you're going to touch a subject that's really hard to talk about for many people, yes, right? Absolutely. And you're going to you're going to teach us about it, but you're also going to, you know, make, make us sure laugh. make make sure that we laugh and are entertained exactly. for. I remember that's, Judy. That's genius. I remember Judy Gold when she used to be I mean, f or maybe she's still a frequent guest on like, wait, wait, don't tell me all the NPR games. Well, she shows. has her own <laughs> podcast now. Yeah. Oh, yes. And the name of it just blanked out of my I'll find it. head. But, you know, you can use the Google. <laughs> the Google. You can use the, the Google. Google. Yeah. 